So a question often asked to you guys in the cargo work is about high density cargoes and what are the precautions while or prior to loading such cargoes. So today I'll talk about uh, what cargoes are considered as high density cargoes and what could be some of the precautions while loading it. So it's a short video I've made because uh, these type of questions are often asked in the orals examination. Uh, so you should know about it enough to be able to answer this question. So as per the SOLAS or safety of life at sea, a stability information booklet is to be provided on board ships which are required to be carrying high density cargoes. Masters should be able to calculate the stability of the worst anticipated conditions during the voyage and that on departure to show that the stability of such ship is adequate. So this is one precaution and of course a requirement. But what are high density cargoes? High density cargoes are those cargoes which have a storage factor of less than or equal to 0.56 metric cube per ton. These cargoes should be normally loaded in the lower hold rather than in twin deck. However, if it is necessary to load in the twin deck or higher cargo spaces, care should be taken to ensure that the deck area is not overstressed and that the ship's stability is not reduced below the minimum acceptable level as given in the ship's stability information booklet. So remember these are heavy cargoes, these are high, highly dense cargoes, so they are compact and highly dense. So heavier the cargoes, the better it is to load in the absolutely lower hold because the heavier the cargo, it is better to go below because the center of gravity then shifts accordingly. Also, if sometimes it may not be possible depending on the port of rotation and in that case, if you have to load it on deck, then you have to make sure that you do not cross the stress level. All right, so the stress level of each of the hatches or holds covers are provided in the stability booklet as well as the cargo loading booklet and you should carefully study it before you allow the loading of such high density cargoes on deck. Make sure that you also carefully evaluate the consequences of sailing with an excessively high GM, all right, with consequential violent movement in a seaway. So of course, the more higher you load a heavy density cargo on the ship's deck, so if you load it on the deck, the lower will be the GM. Or the high, if you sail with a very high GM, then there you have to take into account that at sea, there could be consequential violent movement in a seaway uh, because that becomes a ship that experiences heavy rolling at sea. When bulk cargoes are suspected of shifting readily are carried in twin decks or in partially filled hold, shifting decisions in bins of adequate strength should be erected. So to make sure that these cargoes do not shift at sea when they are carried in twin decks because they are such heavy cargoes that if the lashing cannot hold on to these cargoes and if they shift and they roll onto one side, it's quite possible that the ship may develop a heavy list on one side or an angle of load which will become a complicated situation for the ship at sea.